Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Caitlin and I typically post at least two videos a week about beauty, lifestyle, and all of that. Um, but today I wanted to film a get ready with me and I've never really done one of these before. I did sort of one of these where I did my makeup and a few people commented on it. So I figured since I don't wear makeup that much working from home that today while I'm getting ready for Friendsgiving, I would do my makeup and show you my outfit. So you're currently looking at the before. I have my hair pinned back, but I did do it this morning. I did an at-home blowout, so yeah, my hair is done, but I'll show you guys my makeup and what I wear. Um, I wanted to give you guys some inspo, and I hope you guys all have a good Thanksgiving, and let's cut right to me doing my makeup. So I think I'm going to do my eyes first, so I'm going to use the e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer and just put this all over my eyelids. And then on top of that, I'm using the Maybelline Color Tattoo. This is in the color, it says Front Runner, but I don't know if that's the color. I don't know, it's a super light champagne color and put that on my lids i am going to light a candle while i get ready this is from target it's the holiday spruce um you would have seen this if you watch my decorate my office with me video which is up on my channel already so if you want to go watch that um it's a couple of videos ago but I figured I would light it to get it, get in the festive mood while I do my makeup. Okay, now that I have my primer and that um, one shadow on, I'm going to take the Tartlet palette by Tarte, the toasted one, which is all warm tone colors. And I am going to do a simple look with this. I'm not really trying to do anything crazy. So, yeah, I think I'm going to take the color Sunrise, which is a yellow shimmery color, and pop that all over the lid. And then I'm going to put the color Latte in the crease, which it is so pigmented, it kind of scares me using it. <laughs> sometimes and I have a mirror in front of me you could probably see that <laughs> and I'm going to blend that out using that same brush I'm going to take a little bit of I think cozy which is a very dark red like that one it's like a bronzy red a little bit of brown in it um I don't know if I've ever used this color I'm a little scared and I'm gonna run that on the outer corner more directly in the crease now that that's all blended I'm gonna go back in and use that color that we put on the lids and put it on again just because I feel like it got a little bit dark with all the blending. Cool, okay, so super, su <laughs> super simple look, definitely pretty neutral. Um, but I'm going to take S'more, which is a basic like light neutral color and put it under my brow bone and blend it down. Ooh, I should use this color more. I actually really like it. I feel like that just lifts the brow and looks so good. I think I'm gonna blend it right there. All right, so I think I'm going to do, oh, 
I just got a notification that from like the government about oh about um staying home for Thanksgiving because of COVID. <laughs> um yeah. I'm going to take a brown pencil liner. I normally use liquid, but I got this in my boxy charm and I've been using it a lot. Don't necessarily recommend this one, but the whole idea of brown liner over black, I actually really like. And this is the Bodyography Black Walnut Eye Pencil, which is just brown. So I'm going to do a thin line on my upper lash line. And I'm starting it from about here on my eye rather than going all the way in just because I feel like it closes the eye off. But when you put it on the outer part of the eye, it opens up the eye. And I do mine like pretty messy just because I almost always smudge out my eyeliner anyway. So I just think it gives a more natural look. So for me, I don't really worry, especially with um, pencil eyeliner to do it super precise. So I am going to take a small flat brush and go into a dark brown shade from that same palette and um, go over that eyeliner that I just put down and blend it in. I think I'm going to use Crackle, the color Crackle, in the palette. I'm going to again take that same blending brush and brush out that line. I'm gonna put on one coat of mascara and then do the rest of my face and then come back to eyeshadow. I just like to do it right away in case I have any fallout and then I'll go back in and fix my mascara and that kind of thing. So today I'm using the L'Oreal Telescopic and I'm gonna put one coat on my upper eyelashes. Oh my gosh, mascara makes such a difference. I love mascara. If I could have one item, just everyday use, it would probably be mascara. All right, I smudged a little bit, which if you don't smudge while doing your mascara, how do you do it? Because I always smudge mine and I never really understand how that works. But I am going to move on to the face now. So I saw this trick on TikTok and my friend told me that it worked, so I'm gonna try it. But apparently you're supposed to use your primer, put powder on, then put foundation on, which I have I been doing it wrong the whole time? I don't know, but I am going to use the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I've been like going back and forth between using this and not using this, but I figured today I would try it out again. All right, so I'm going to put the putty primer on. I just like, I don't like using my finger, so I just dip it in and press it into my skin. And then I'll use my fingers if I need to, but I don't prefer using my fingers in like any product. Okay, and I just focus that on my T-zone area and then after that, I'm going to take the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder and I'm just going to put that where I put that primer and we can test out to see if this trick works. All right, I guess we'll see. So next I'm going to use under eye concealer. I have the darkest circles under my eyes and I've always had them and it's not that I don't get any sleep they're just always so puffy so I'm going to use the instant age rewind dark circle eraser from Maybelline I feel like everyone uses this and I really love it so that's what I'm gonna put under my eyes and then I'm going to go in with foundation. I am, it doesn't look like it, but I am a little bit self tanned. So I'm going to use my like light dark shades. So when I'm pale in winter, this is the darkest shade I'll use when normally I've been using the lightest. So this is from Makeup Revolution. It's like a foundation stick and it's an F6. I don't know what color that is, but 
I normally just swipe this onto my face and blend it in. And I always make sure to carry my foundation and blend it down my neck so it matches. It does look a little different, but I think it's because I took a shower this morning and rinsed some of the self-tanner off, but that's okay because I am about to use that same powder I used before, the e.l.f. Halo Glow, and set my under eyes, and then I normally set like right here on my jawline. I saw some girl do it once before and it really defined her cheekbones, and I have such a round face, so anytime I get like a hint of cheekbone definition, I'm all about it. And this is fine because I'll wipe it away later. So I just like kind of messily put it under my eyes. But bringing it up to bring like right down here. And I think it. she also used it like after she used her contour. But I don't really apply mine that like precisely. So I don't know on my nose because I get a little red there. Okay. So now I'm going to go to, I think I'm going to do my brows. And for brows, I always use, I don't do anything crazy, so I always use the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil in taupe and just like fill them in quickly and then brush them through. That's all I do. Okay, now I'm going to warm up the face. Actually, I think I'm gonna brush away my under eye um, stuff and I'm just using this Lancome big fluffy brush and just wiping it away because I don't want it to be too white and like blending everything in the face. And then I'm gonna use the same brush, gonna use the same brush and go into the Physician Formula Butter Bronzer, which is such a go-to. And I normally just like dab it in there, tap it off and warm up my face. Just like kind of all over. Just to get some angles back on my face and warm up my skin tone. And then again, always take it down the neck. So you don't want to look like your two colors. I also sometimes take it on the ear, like just a little bit. And then I am going to do a little bit of contouring. And I'm using the Real Her Ultimate Glow Getter Cheek Trio. And I got this also in my boxy charm, and I love it. So it comes with three colors, a bronzer, a blush, and a highlighter. So I'm going to use, I think, all three of these today. But I'm going to start with the bronzer. And I normally just go like this with my brush and dip it in and like dab it out. And then I normally make a harsh line on both sides of my face and going upwards and then I blend it up. And I typically also try to do it right here so it looks more like a cheekbone structure. You can see such a difference between this side of my face and this side of my face. So you don't want a harsh line but you also want like some sort of color difference definition and lately I saw another person on YouTube do this and I just take a little bit and do it down my nose I don't know if you guys can tell but it makes such a difference and then again just kind of like blending it all in lightly not too much but you know you don't want to look crazy and then I'm going to go in with blush and use a more rounded, bl rounded bl brush, not blush, brush, and go in with that blush in the palette and put that on, like, on the apples but towards the back of my cheeks. And then I'm also going to use the highlighter. I'm also going to use the highlighter in the palette. It's more of a warm tone color, which I was a little nervous about, but... I think it really looks good with that bronzer and blush combo. And I almost always, if I put a highlighter on my cheeks, which I don't always use, 
Um, I will almost always put it on my nose and also my eyes because I think it makes it look more natural if you are using a highlighter and really pulls the look together. And like always, you don't want to look like super glittery so blending it all in not that this is super glittery this highlighter anyway last thing i do for the face is use the tarte miracle mist setting spray and i use this i also got this in my boxy charm and it is the finest mist i've ever used i'm gonna zoom you guys out it looks like this and my makeup stays in place all day when i use it and then I just let it dry. And yeah, I feel like it blends the makeup, especially after using all those products. Really like blends it together in the best way possible. So I love using that. And now we just have to put a lip on and finish up the eyes. For lip glosses lately, I've been into plumping lip gloss, which my mom used to use these when I was little. And I would be obsessed with them and always want one one day and so I found this at TJ Maxx the other day and I had to pick it up. It's the Bare Minerals Moxie like lip plumping glosses and I'm not sure the name. Oh this one's called Rebel and it's this light pink color. You can't even really see it when you put it on your lips but I'm gonna just wear this. It's not even like I really want the like lip plumping effect. I just genuinely think it's fun the way this feels. It, like tingles. So yeah, now that that's done, I'm going to finish up the eyes. So for eyes, we already put one coat of mascara on and there's not really that much else I do. Um, I don't really try to put a lot on my lower lash line, but I think I'm going to go in with that cozy color. It was like the reddish brown that we put in the crease and run it a little bit along the lower eyelashes. And then blend it out. And then I feel like it gives the eye a more round feel. And then for lower eyelashes, I'm going to use the Great Lash Lots of Lashes. The only reason I'm using this is because it's a little bit more used up, so it's a more dry formula. And then on upper, um, we did use the L'Oreal one before, so sometimes I use that again, but today I'm going to use the Essence I Love Extreme Eyelashes, and this thing is huge. Like, look how big that wand is, but um, yeah, it's super cheap too, but it gives really voluminous eyelashes, so I'm going to put that on and get back to you guys. This is the completed makeup look. Again, nothing too crazy. Honestly, this is probably a normal everyday look for people, but um, since working from home, I don't really wear makeup that much. Um, and the eyes are a little bit darker than I normally would go for it. But I think this is a great option for makeup for Thanksgiving or any holiday event coming up as it's super neutral and you can basically pair it with any outfit. Um, yeah, or any lip combo also. I'm going with a neutral, but I think a red lip would look really good with this, or even like a berry. That's what I normally go for. So yeah, super neutral, natural makeup, but I am going to get dressed and I'll show you guys my outfit and what I'm wearing for the night. Okay, so I decided to go super casual because odds are my friends are even more casual than this. So I paired it with two basics, just a white tank top and black like super soft leggings like normally I wear athletic leggings but these are like I guess fashion leggings you would call it and then this huge oversized sweater that I got last year from American Eagle so it's super cozy and warm and then right now I'm just wearing socks but I'll probably throw on a pair of black small booties maybe like combat boots um, or something like that, like those Doc Martin look-alike ones that everyone's wearing. But that is what I'm wearing for Friendsgiving. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this is a super short video and I just wanted to make a casual video of me getting ready. So I hope you guys have a good Thanksgiving if you're in the U.S. and you celebrate with your family and please stay safe. 
and I will see you guys in my next video.